Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about Niagara and adjusting size for particles and meshes in Unreal 4. Now, I feel like this comes up enough when people are starting out, so we're going to walk through the options that we have for adjusting size. So to get this started, I'm going to right click in my content browser and I'm going to create a Niagara emitter from an empty blank template. And then we'll give it a name, NE, whatever you want to call it. And then let's go and open this up so we can set it up. So first things first, we have a sprite. You can use a mesh if you want. But then in a meta update, we want to spawn something. So I'm going to add a spawn rate. And we'll set this to something like 10. And then we'll just save it and let it compile. Then we'll just let this play. We can see we're spawning. And now in particle update, I want to add some velocity. This way there's some motion to these. So I'll add velocity, and then we need to have solve forces and velocity below add velocity. So I'm gonna click on fix issue, and we should get that. And now for velocity in the Z, I'm gonna make this 0.5. And we'll save again so it can compile. And now we should have some sprites that are pushing up, and then they'll stop in some point. Now we're ready to talk about size. So the first place to look at for size for our sprites or for our mesh is in particle spawn initialize particle. And in here you'll see sprite size mode under sprite attributes and mesh scale mode under mesh attributes. So right now it says unset, but if we click on the drop down we get a few options. And the main ones we want to look at are uniform and non-uniform. With uniform we're going to get one number. And you'll see by default these are going to be a lot smaller already. When the sprite size mode is set to unset, it's going to be uniform, but the default is going to be 30. Now with non-uniform, we get a vector 2. And this way we can scale it on the X and on the Y. So we can get different shaped sprites or a different shape mesh. Now just the same, if we click on this drop down, we can convert this vector 2 into a float. And this is going to act like a uniform. Now, if we switch this back to uniform, we can also click on this drop down and we can change this into a vector 2D length. And this will make it into a vector 2. Now, all the things I just talked about here can also be done for the mesh. You'll see that we have all the same options. So I'm going to leave this at uniform and we'll leave this at a uniform size of 30. Now, the second way that we could adjust our sprite sizes is by adding a set, set new or existing parameter directly to particle spawn. And then in here, we want to click on the plus icon and we can look for sprite size and we can adjust this parameter just the same as we would in here. And this will take ownership of the size of our particles. So these are going to look a lot bigger now. So I'm just going to delete that set because I don't really want to use it. Now the next layer we have to this is scaling sprites over time. So in particle update, we can look for scale mesh size or scale sprite size. In a way, they're going to be very similar. So scale sprite size, we'll add this to particle update, and you'll see we get a vector 2. Now, just the same, we could go ahead and take this, and we could turn this into just the float. So it's uniform. And now this is going to compound on top of what we already have. So you see that one isn't really affecting it, but if we change it to the two, it's going to multiply, and then three, four, etc. Now what's nice about this is we can also change this float into a curve. So if we change this into a curve, now we can change the size of these sprites over time. So you can see right now this is a just a linear curve going from one to zero. And you can see we start out with a pretty big sprite. And then over time, it's going down to zero. So we'll just let this play. And we can go ahead and change this as well. So if we want to add another key in here, and maybe another key here, we can do that. Now another thing that's nice about adding a curve in here is that we can affect the scale curve. So you can see that this is set at one. If we set this to two, is going to multiply the height of the curve. It's going to stretch it out. So you can see that we're making everything bigger now. 
and just the same. You can also have this and make it smaller. So you definitely have a lot of options here. There's definitely a lot of flexibility. All right, guys, this should cover adjusting size. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.